Yo, for real though, why, why do you cheat? You sound like a nice guy. I don't get it. Um, I don't know. Makes you a better PK, I guess. What? If you couldn't Wait. cheat, if there wasn't any option, what would you do instead? Would you like learn how to PK instead or would you just quit? No, like I used to be a good PK before, but everyone AHK, so like, um... Yeah. So you do it because everyone else does sort of thing. <laughs> like if you can't beat, uh, beat him, join him, eh, brother? Yeah, that's it, bro. That's it. Yes, that is correct. Today's video is going to be all about cheaters caught red-handed. Such as this guy who was stupid enough to literally screen share his own cheating. This guy literally has scripts that auto-spec for him, including auto-eats. I mean, just have a look at these clips. He's not even in his freaking inventory, and it's still eating food. And then when his opponent goes for a nice whack double mole, the client auto-triple-eats for him. Now, I have absolutely nothing against this guy personally. He seems like a good lad. However, I think it is very important that this sort of stuff does get exposed. That way, you guys have a few less AHKs to worry about, such as this guy's low combat Zerker account, which as you can see, he also uses to cheat on. But the reason this guy is being so casual about cheating is he's been literally screen sharing this stuff for months and he's been reported a stupid amount of times, yet for whatever reason, he has still not been banned on any of his accounts. Until I messaged my friend West Ham about it, who is friends with a few JMods. And a few hours later, can you guess what happened? I'm sure you can, but first, a huge thank you and a quick message from today's video sponsor, Keeps. Keeps is a subscription subscription based service focusing on treatments for male pattern baldness. Yep, that's right, you heard it here first. Did you know that before the age of 35, two out of three males will experience some form of male pattern baldness and the best way to prevent it is to do something about it while you still have some hair left. With Keeps you can go online, talk to a real doctor and in no time they'll be able to recommend their right hair loss treatment plan for you. Your treatment will then be shipped directly to your door every three months. And if you have any concerns, they also have a 24 seven doctor available to you. Keeps is also super affordable they offer generic versions of their hair loss, FDA approved medications, just like any pharmacy would. Also keep in mind treatments can typically take between four to six months to start seeing results. So the sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you can save. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss right now, go to keeps.com slash panic or click the link in the description to receive 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash panic. Just go to my link in the description so you don't miss out. Now shortly after West Ham posted that on Twitter, the guy found me in game and I'm not really sure sure what his purpose was here. He's trying to convince my opponent that I'm cheating, even though my opponent knows very well that I'm panic and that I don't cheat. He even goes to say that I saw you making vids of the elder double mole. <laughs> Now, I'm not gonna lie, he's probably being honest here because the way that I do my elder into double more combo does look like it's AHK, which is one of the main reasons I record my combos. So then you can see very clearly with a hand cam there <laughs> that I'm not actually cheating and I'm doing this legit. You can slow down the clip as much as you like. You can very, very clearly see that I am not cheating here and is obviously very different to what he is doing. Oh yeah, and shortly after that guy actually did get banned. Justice. Now, while it is great that one of Kane's accounts are now banned, unfortunately, there's many, many other accounts that he uses, such as these two right here. Both of these accounts are owned by very close friends of his that also AHK and use the exact same cheats that he does. This guy actually sells scripts as well. So the fact that he hasn't been banned, even though a stupid amount of evidence has been submitted to Jagex is just stupid. And yeah, anyway. <laughs> Name is an HK. -er. Yeah, I know, I know, uh, Picnic. He's an HK, -er, but the thing is, like, the thing is, he's not HKing right now. But this guy here, Mr. Wealthy Slut, is not an AHK. He's actually a streamer, so he's legit. And the fact that name just died makes me feel like he turned off his AHKs just to fight him. Maybe they're friends or something. I'm not too sure. And see if we can catch him in the act of AHK. I mean, there is a stupid amount of clips already submitted to Jagex of this guy cheating. And the fact that he still hasn't been banned is ridiculous. Now, the reason these guys don't actually hide the fact that they're cheating is because they don't care if they get banned. Because all the money that they make ends up getting reward traded anyway. And if they get banned, they're just gonna buy a new account and keep doing what they're doing. So this guy will fight me. So this guy will never fight me because he knows that I'm panic and he knows that I know that he's a cheater and that the whole point of me fighting him is to catch him out. That's the truth. But what he doesn't know is uh-oh is actually my mate. So hopefully we can catch him doing something AHK, but we'll see.
Now, one of the last and probably the worst cheater of today's video is an NHer by the name of Amber who uses the account Feasted. Now, Amber is an NHer who openly uses a cheat client to do his tribe breeding fights on. Now, all of the default plugins on this client are actually bannable, like every single one of them. Now, I was hoping he would leak a little bit more, so I pushed him into doing a full screen share instead of just the client. And after about five, 10 minutes of arguing, he eventually did it. And the mirror mode cheat client magically vanished. What was left was the normal RS client. Client. Now, surprise, surprise, he said he does not want to do any GP if his screen share is on. Take that as you may. And then when we finally stepped into the arena, yeah, safe to say he's pretty useless without his cheats. Now, I can't help but think, why are these people not banned? Imagine you're the best PKer in the entire game and you want to make your friends some quick money. So you hop onto his account and then you NH stake someone who is well respected in the community. And then that popular person, this PKer ends up getting banned literally minutes after the NH stake. Now that said, I want to be very clear that this is literally no one's fault because the PKer did not cheat. The content creator that reported that PKer did so in good faith. And then the JMod that had a look at the code to see whether or not that person was cheating made a simple mistake, which looks to be more at the fault of the anti-cheat technologies at Jagex rather than human error, if that sort of makes sense. Especially if the cheats are client side only, like, you know, freeze timer visuals and that sort of thing. This has happened many times to many different people and it really makes you wonder how many players have been falsely banned who do not have a voice like 1013 does. I mean, me personally, I do the same thing. INH stake on friends accounts all the time and I always have that constant fear of what if this person accuses me of AHK and reports my friend's account directly to a JMod who then has to make a very difficult decision. Now to finish the video off guys, we have a more or less harmless cheater. This is a legitimate player that I was 1v1ing in LMS. At about this point, he was out of food and then I noticed something a little bit strange. The final player in the arena just disappeared. <laughs> and then a few seconds after that, my opponent had full HP, which is kind of 500 IQ, I'm not gonna lie. Now, fortunately for me, I'm still a decent NHer and I still managed to make him run out of food before I ran out of food. And for a second, I was so sure I was going to win. And then we, uh, Oh my, we killed each other. Wait, did I win? Who won that? Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Now, I'm almost 100% sure that every single person in today's video is going to accuse me of lying or faking shit or I don't know, whatever. But please understand, I am not 99% sure about these people cheating. I am 100% certain would bet my own reputation and career on it. Now, there was a lot of evidence left out of this video that's meant for Jagex's eyes only. The reason for that is so Jagex can have a look at all the evidence before the cheaters do. That way, there's a higher chance of them actually getting banned because they can't, you know, like fabricate a story or pre-defend themselves. It's that sort of makes sense. And please do not misunderstand the video's intentions. It is not to attack Jagex. They're not doing anything wrong. They're making some big changes to help with anti-cheating right now. And understand that this video is meant for you guys. So you guys can see and learn what these PKers are doing. That way you can better defend yourselves against it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If I think of anything else, I'll let you know in the comments in the description. And um, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the vid and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes, I'm real.